All right, guys, so it's day two. It's gonna be shoulders, core, a little bicep, tricep, so full body day, full upper body day. We're gonna do some arm circles with this band, just kind of warming up front, side, rear shoulders, opening up the chest. I just like to do these for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. I'm gonna do some pulling. All right, so we're gonna start with a cable lateral raise. So we wanna position ourselves kind of out. And we want that hand, the palm, to kind of just come right back down to the hip. So lifting with that elbow. Once we hit 10 reps here, we're gonna go into half reps. So not all the way back down. Just kind of push through half reps. Good, now we're gonna switch. Same thing on the other side. Keeping the shoulders down and back, leading with that elbow. The rest of my body stays really isolated, so I'm not moving a lot, not swinging into it. Making that lateral shoulder do all the work. We're gonna go into five half reps. Okay, and then we're gonna go into a front raise using the same cable. So we're gonna superset these two. And I like to just kind of tuck the handle. I grab this part of the cable so that I've got a good grip. A little bend here, hinge forward. My chest is still up, shoulders down and back. And we wanna focus on this front delt. So it's a small little muscle. We gotta find its range of motion and work within it. So feeling that stretch. The biggest thing with these is not exceeding the range of motion. So I don't come super far back. I don't come all the way into it because that's gonna help make our traps take it over. So we wanna just focus where we feel that stretch and increase that tension. Then we're gonna switch. Same thing on the other side want to get all set up I kind of come out and around increasing that squeeze in my hand as I come up chest stays up the whole time forcing that front shoulder to really stretch so when you're getting set up on this rear delt fly, you wanna make sure the seat's at the right level. So when your arms are aligned, you kinda of want your elbows a little bit higher than this, if not kind of at the same level. Your butt's gonna be further back in this and your chest pushed into the pad. So my, my head's gonna stay neutral. And what we wanna do is push and pull back. Again, finding that range of motion. So I'm not going super far back. I wanna keep it in the rear delt. So squeeze, control back. Push, pull back. Push into it again, pull. And then as we keep going with these reps, we're gonna feel burning in that rear delt. We wanna just keep pushing that, feeling every single rep. I don't let the weight drop, it's still controlled. Keeping the shoulders nice and back really helps. So we're gonna start with some tricep kickbacks. So we're just gonna hit the triceps really quick. We don't need super heavy weight for this because our goal is mostly just to tone the arms, not get bigger by or get bigger triceps biceps. We want the illusion of a nice big rounded shoulder. So we'll really focus on shoulders and then just kind of barely touch on tricep bicep. So I like to be fully bent over, elbows back, my shoulders down and back, and my elbow doesn't move. So I get that full squeeze with no swing, it's all the tricep. We'll squeeze at the top, controlling back down. Gonna hit 10 of these, and then we're gonna switch arms. Same thing on the other arm. Getting nice and set up with the shoulders down and back. And we're gonna move into a bicep curl. 
So for this, I like to have my seat leaned back. This is really gonna help the stretch here in the bicep. So my shoulders are down and back. We don't wanna be caved in like this. Nice, strong chest, keeping that elbow in place. So elbow stays there, bicep does all the work. We're gonna alternate. So 10 each side, nice and controlled. Starting neutral, alternating up. So from there, we're gonna go into a lateral to front raise. So we're gonna hit triceps, biceps, and then shoulders in a circuit. And we'll repeat these through three times. So we're gonna start shoulders down and back, tight core. We wanna raise laterally and then to the front. So back laterally and down, right back up there. There's a little swing to this motion, but still controlled. So I feel that lateral shoulder as I come up to the side. Then as I come to the front, I'm gonna feel that front elbow. So this is gonna be a little compound movement. We're gonna be working shoulders, also the core. So I want you to set up not too far from the wall, maybe about eight inches. Hands are gonna be close together, feet are wide. So from here, I set up into a plank, nice tight here, butts down, and I want shoulders down and back. Just reaching and tapping right back down. You're definitely gonna feel on the tops of your shoulders a burn, as well as in the core. We're gonna hit 15 each side, so 30 total taps. Okay, and then we're gonna go superset that into a jackknife. So later on, we're gonna add weight. For now, we're gonna focus on no weight for this movement. Starting with the arms up, legs all the way down. We're gonna come crunch in. All the way out without touching the ground, crunch in. Breathing out as you crunch in. Squeezing the abs. Feeling that whole abdominal chain engaging. And from there, we'll just go back into the wall taps. All right, guys, so end of day two. If you liked what you saw and you wanna follow along further in the week, go ahead and go to my profile and the link's gonna be in my bio to go watch the rest of those channels. Um, also on empirefitness.com, you can go under their programs and purchase the rest of the program if you wanna go ahead and do the full eight weeks. Next week, we're gonna get a little bit more into heavier weights, more movements, so make sure to stay along. Thank you.